after the Moaz. I'm planning on riding this all the way up and selling on the way down. But what do you do with the money afterwards? This is a good question. This is something that a lot of us apes have struggled with. If we do see massive, massive amounts of life-changing money, then what? What are we supposed to do with the money then? This ape says I plan on taking 50% of the profits and buying back into the market when everything is an absolute lowest price. Getting rich is cool. Staying rich is cooler. That's a really good point. I also plan on helping my community as much as possible because many people are going to be in a very bad position after the banks fold and wash their 401k plans down the drain. So this is a good question. I want you guys to comment down below. After the Moaz, if we all make life-changing money, what are you planning to do with the profits? Comment down below. If every ape spends $20 at AMC each and every single week, that would equal $80 million a week gross earnings. If we still have around 4 million apes, which I'm sure we do, if not more, Granted, many live where there is no AMC, like me. So cut the number in half, let's just say. $40 million a week is $160 million a month. $1.92 billion a year just from the people, the investors, and AMC stock. Imagine what that would do for the overall company. Some tweets to go through, I don't blame the economy. I blame the hedge funds, I blame the market makers, I blame the politicians, and I blame the Fed. I also blame the banks. Those five things right there, the banks, the feds, the politicians, the market makers, and hedge funds, the amount of power that they all have, all five of those things have, and the amounts of indirectly or directly they all sort of work with each other, or at least indirectly work with each other, is something to pay attention to. Guys, the Federal Reserve sold at the top of the market. Never forget that. This is my second AMC Theaters location. The parking lot is full. Hedge funds tend to pay for satellite images of parking lots to check the traffic for companies to predict their up and coming earnings to know whether or not to go long or short. So I wanted to add this in a video because this isn't the only ape that's posted this. There's tons of pictures of parking lots for AMC Theaters and they all have one thing in common. All the parking lots are absolutely full with vehicles. If you guys have a local AMC Theater near you, check it out for yourself. Go there on the weekends, go there on the weeknights, and comment down below what you guys have seen so far.